Yeah, you know, I think uh, credit to them. They're a really good team. Um, they pressured us a lot, and we didn't take care of the ball, uh, especially myself being one of our point guards. I think uh, having a bunch of turnovers uh, really hurts us. Um, I think they disrupted our offense, and we didn't play physical enough. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we struggled in screen and roll. You know, guards, uh, well, we got to communicate, and guards got to get through screens. Um, and we were getting hung up a lot, and I think we just didn't stay down, stay in front of the ball. Very good. What was the message from Coach in there? Um, basically, kind of what I touched on, but I just, you know, they beat us in almost every facet of the game. You know, we missed free throws. Uh, they got to the paint. They out rebounded us. They out shot us. They had way more shot attempts than we did. Turnovers, everything. So, uh, yeah, they just outplayed us tonight. Turnovers were kind of a big thing for you guys. I mean, you had ten in the first half, but um, was that more due to like their their intense defense, or was it just kind of an offensive out of sync sort of thing? Yeah. Well, they like I said, they get into the ball. Uh, they deny stuff, but I think at the end of the day, you know, we, we just weren't strong and we weren't physical enough. They beat you over. Yeah, we knew they were really good. Uh, I think every team we play, you know, we have expect really good teams every time. Um, and, you know, we just got to come out ready, prepared. Uh, we got to be a lot more physical and tougher throughout the whole game, whole 40 minutes. The three-point shooting, it seemed like you guys had quite a few open looks. Is that just a thing that comes and goes, or do you think that's an issue? Yeah, you know, I think shots fall. I think sometimes, too, like, you can have an off night. Uh, I thought we had a lot of good looks on some of them that just didn't go in. And then I think we did a better job in the second half getting uh, two feet in the paint for kickouts and, uh, like, with screen and roll and stuff. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes they just don't fall, I guess. Just, I know you probably haven't even looked at Georgia Tech yet, but just what are your expectations on this Florida? Oh, we want to go in and win. You know, uh, every game we want to come out, obviously, and win. And, uh play hard, but, uh, you know, this is obviously a tough loss, but we're going to have to move on and get ready. Well, congrats to uh, um, Sam Houston State. They're a good team. been saying that, obviously, for a couple days. Um, uh, there's a reason they went into Oklahoma on opening night and, and uh, won their experience. They're tough. They're very, very tough. They're physical. Um, um, and they play really connected. You know, they're, they're, uh, they have five super seniors out there, and it shows. And... Um, you know, we had some opportunities there. We obviously we didn't finish well enough around the basket. We had a really slow start. Um, we had one uh, not so good lineup out there in the first half where they kind of got their big jump. I thought we steadied the ship. Um, you know, late in the first half and going into halftime, I thought we had some momentum. Um, and then we did. I mean, we had enough clean looks there on offense, and it was just one of those things where you're just knocking on the door, knocking on the door, and just couldn't break through, you know, just felt like if we get the lead, you know, we could, it could just kind of take off. And we just, I mean, but we shot ourselves in the foot over and over and over again in so many areas, eight for 16 from the free throw line, um, 11 turnovers in the first half. And, and then just, I mean, how many times did we just not finish plays at the rim? And it was a potpourri. I mean, it was a little bit of everybody, right? And you got to make those plays, you know, and, and then on the offensive glass, I mean, obviously that was a huge emphasis. We got out rebound them, you know. I mean, probably put it should have played big, big a lot more, um, uh, just to take you know hopefully neutralize that advantage. But sometimes, I mean, it's just they were quicker to the ball, um, they were tougher to the ball. There were various times we have the ball and they just took it from us. I mean, just literally took it from us, or like the ball is just right there and we can't go get it um, for whatever reason. And so. You know, 14 offensive boards to to our five, right? Their bench outscores us 22-14. They have 16 more shot attempts than us. I mean, we shoot 46 shots. They shoot 62. And so when you do that and you don't make your free throws, and that's not, you know, for our team, that's usually been a positive sign, right, when we get to the free throw line. But for whatever reason, and it started first two possessions of the game. We get fouled, miss two free throws, right, over two from the line. Second possession of the game, we throw it right to them. Now, they're going to turn you over. Like, that's what they do. There's going to be some turnovers that happen, but I just thought we had some really senseless ones um, um, at times. So, obviously, it's a tough one to swallow. Uh, we knew they were going to be a good team. 
Um, uh, but it's tough when you don't win. It's tough when you don't win any night, especially the way we lost the game. Uh, but credit to them, man. They made plays. They made big plays. They made big plays, you know, throughout the night where it felt like we were just ready to crack through. They make that deep three, you know, at the shot clock, and then they make a heck of a pass when they were up four to go up three in the right corner right in front of their bench. And that was a, obviously a big shot that kind of gave them separation. So we got to be better. You know, we got got some young guys. We got to get everybody connected. Hopefully we can stay away from – hopefully we can get some continuity here and, and, and get some things figured out. So tough night. Got to respond um, going into the tournament in Fort Myers, the Fort Myers tip-off tournament. Well, he got hurt early on, and that obviously kind of affected him. Um, um, but, I mean, I thought he missed some chip shots. You're right, early on, he, he, he probably didn't get enough touches. You know, once we – and there, but it's a, it's a few different things. You know, we gotta, we got to feed him the ball more, but we got to be able to not turn it over to get him the ball more too. And I thought they ramped up their pressure, and we had a difficult time with it, you know, just to initiate our offense for a stretch. But he needs to be our anchor. He's such a good player. Um, uh, and it was a physical game, obviously, and to their credit, you know, they did a good job taking him away. Was it an ankle uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. He just waved to come out, and then he told me when he was ready to go back in, and so I have I don't even know what it's where it's at. When you say you wish you would have, or should, maybe you should have gone big, big. Who would have been the other big? Like Ben Carlson. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe you play Gavin, maybe play Gavin and okay. and BC together. Uh, K- Kaba obviously got an early run, um, you know, coming off of being out for a few days. I just didn't think he was ready, quite frankly. Um, so, I mean, that's part of it. But we got, we just got to be tougher. That was the, the guys that played the most minutes. Those were veteran guys. And those guys have been through some battles, and, and we just got to be better. You mentioned, I mean, in the first half, there was that lineup that struggled a little bit. That's kind of when Sam Houston got their big lead. But you guys fought back and, and pulled it pretty close at yeah. halftime. What was the message to the team in the locker room at half getting them to come respond? Yeah, I mean, I, I just thought uh, er, the first um, 12, 13 minutes or so, we, we defensively, we were not good with our switches. We were not playing connected on either end of the floor. Um, offensively, I just thought when we made the run late in the first half, we just we started playing what more five out. And guys just did a better job of using pressure relievers, right? Because they were just sitting on us. And so uh, putting pressure on the rim, right? Better job of screening. I thought the last 25 minutes, our offense was clearly better. I mean, we got a good shot almost every possession down, right? We just didn't take advantage. I mean, we missed a lot of it. We missed your free throws, right? We had a lot of chi- – I mean, how many chip shots did we miss? Like, literally at the rim. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say, you know? And we were down one. Down two, down. It just was like we're gonna get there, you know, and we and we didn't get there, and so you got to be able to finish. I mean, it's big boy basketball, and you got we got to be able to finish those finish those plays, and and then the other part of it, to their credit, like we just we didn't get many second chance opportunities with five offensive rebounds. Who do you think the biggest problem was with some of the guards getting to the basket as consistently as they did for Sam Houston? Um, well, number two had a heck of a game, um, you know. Grant, and and he's a he can be kind of a bowling ball. He's really kind of slick with the ball, and he gets a head of steam. He's got great feel for the game, super super patient, but knows how to change speeds. And so I thought just our our screener roll defense really hurt us. I thought late we wore down, um, and we, you know BC played a lot of minutes out there, um, but we got to do a better job guarding your yard, staying in front of the ball, right? I mean that's where defense starts. Can you stay in front of the ball? And he does a good job. And they play with really good pace, you know, to their credit. They play with great pace. And, um, you know, with, we just thought we wore down. This, did the tournament assign you guys this game? Yes. So it wasn't like a fine game where you didn't play? Correct. Yeah, it's part of the MTE. Any other questions? Coach, with Marco coming back tonight, um, was he on any sort of minutes restriction night? No. no. Yeah, he was full going. I thought he did some really good things for us out there, right? I mean, he's got a great voice. He's got a presence to him. He knows what we're trying to accomplish. He understands moving it, sharing it. He is a good defender. 
Um, he brings a lot of things to the table. Physicality, right? And we lacked a lot of physicality tonight as a team. But he brought a lot to the table from that respect and was able to knock down some shots and goes four for six, you know, eight points and six shots and four rebounds. 